Alabama woman is making national headlines for starting a fight that resulted in her miscarriage. Tonight, Marche Jones is charged with manslaughter in the death of her unborn baby. The woman who shot her won't be charged. The decision to prosecute Jones is controversial and once again puts Alabama in the spotlight. Way 31's Ashley Carter has reaction from people on both sides of the aisle. I'm here at the Alabama's Women's Center where people tell me that this is a complicated case and once again an Alabama case could go all the way to the Supreme Court. I think it is outrageous. Uh, it is wrong. Um, there's no way she should be charged with any crime. Josie Polland is part of the clinical escort group that works to protect women who go inside the Alabama Women's Center. She says this case is just another example of how the state doesn't care about women. They've made it perfectly perfectly clear that women don't matter. People who believe abortion should not be legal disagree. Child should um, have been protected better um, and not brought into the fight. You put your child in harm's way, you're responsible for that. I called the Madison County District Attorney's Office for some perspective. They told me Marche Jones's manslaughter charge is because she ignored the risk to her fetus when she started the fight. As a result, the fetus died. The woman who shot her claimed self-defense, fearing for her life. It's up to a district attorney's discretion on who they want to charge, and in this case, the Jefferson County DA charged Jones. I've asked for statements from workers here at the Women's Center and Alabama's Right to Life group. Neither of them wanted to comment. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. The Yellowhammer Fund, which raises money to help women who seek abortions in Alabama, said it will help Jones with her legal representation. The group says it will also make sure that she is able to post bond.